so the difference between the two, can you talk about that omega-3 and omega-6? And when we, when, in our diets, do we try to have the same amount or we hear a lot about a certain ratio that you want to have between the two? Can you talk about that? Right, yeah. Um, as I mentioned, in our diet, we have, uh, we typically eat about 6, 7% of our calories, of our energy, as omega-6 fatty acids. That's, in America, that's about the typical. And we're eating about a tenth of a percent of our calories is omega-3. Um, I'm not sure that's a problem. Well, the, the problem is we're eating too little omega-3. I don't think we're eating too much omega-6. And I'm not one that buys into the ratio idea okay. um, because ratios can be very elusive. I mean, you can have a very large intake of both omega-6 and omega-3 or a very, very small intake of omega-6 and omega-3 and have the same ratio. Mm. And so aiming for a ratio, to me, is ill-advised. Uh, what, what I think people need to do is to get more of the long chain, the fish oil omega-3s in their diet, period, end of story. Uh, it's a very simple message. Uh, I don't think we need to reduce our omega-6 because I, I think actually if we do that, it won't be to our, uh, to our detriment. Uh, that's the evidence that I've been part of the American Heart Association. We've been looking at this omega-6 question. And we came up from all the evidence we could find in humans uh, eating less omega-6 is going to increase heart disease rates. Mm. So we're not in, in favor of that. We like to leave the omega-6 intake pretty much where it is, between 5 and 10 percent of calories. Uh, and again, we're about 6 here. Uh, so I, I, I think the, the omega-6 story is, uh, frankly, way overblown and way too much concern about the omega-6. They're good. They're important. We're finding more and more of the uh, mechanisms by which they actually are protective. Uh, what I think people need to focus on is not omega-6, but omega-3. And the plant-based versus the fish-based is another question, because you can get omega-6, excuse me, omega-3 from some plant oils, like flaxseed oil. Okay. Uh, it's just not the same omega-3 as you get from fish. It's kind of a poor second cousin that uh, doesn't do the same things that the omega-3s from fish do. And so that's where it gets confusing. A lot of the foods you see in the grocery store mm -hmm. that are labeled enriched with omega-3 are enriched with this plant omega-3, which doesn't really have uh, much benefit. Uh, there's no harm, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a perception that you're getting the heart-healthy omega-3s when you really are not. Uh, and that's a little disingenuous, I think. Okay. So, uh, I, I guess the other, other problem with getting back to this trying to get a balance of omega-6 and omega-3 is it's a, uh, the, one of the difficulties of that is the presumption that the omega-6 are bad. Mm -hmm. you, you always want, if you're going to do a, a ratio or a balance of things, you're usually balancing a bad thing with a good thing. Well, you got two good things. And so trying to strike a balance doesn't make any sense. You just want to get a certain level of the omega-6, which is what we're getting fine, plenty of in our diet now. And what we're missing is the omega-3. And I think when people focus on ratios, they get distracted from the central message, which is get the omega-3s up. Mm -hmm. That's a very simple message. And it's less complicated, and you don't have to worry about ratios.